Okay. Shooter, are you ready? Stand by. What up, YouTube? Gunner South here again today. Um, wanted to update you a little bit. Um, I think in my previous videos, we've done a lot of talking about this particular gun, the Parapro Custom uh, P1640. We've been talking about this gun and working on ways to get this gun ready for ESP division in IDPA. Um, my plans have changed a little bit. You might notice that this thing is wearing its G10 grips and it's wearing its mag well again because going forward um, I'm going to be staying in the CDP division. Um, if you saw my other video you saw that I came in second place at the Alabama State match in Sharpshooter and I just it didn't want to leave it there. I, I wanted to get bump in, in expert. Uh, I've got some matches coming up in the fall um, and I, I want to stick with 45 and I want to shoot CDP um, and hopefully get my bump to expert there. Um, that said, I will not be doing it with the Glock 41. Um, we are going to be coming back to this gun which I've done multiple videos on. This is a Para P1445 expert. Um, and this is what we're going to be shooting. I'm going to be shooting a True 1911, well, a 1911 style pistol in the CDP division for uh, IDPA. Uh, why do you ask? Why are you not going with the SP and why are you abandoning Glock? You talked about trigger pull on the Glock or whatever. And that's all true. Uh, I love this gun. I think this is a great gun. I love the trigger pull on this gun. And I'm probably going to suck for a while as I transition to the 1911. Well, the 1911, I, I, I've just I gotta mix it up a little bit. Uh, one, this is a polymer gun. Two, which is great, don't get me wrong, this is utterly reliable. But at the end of the day, we were talking about switching over to this 1911 pattern gun. And if I'm not gonna shoot this one, and I don't want to, and I still wanna shoot CDP, that leaves me with the, what I've got. I got a 45, I got a double stack 45, it's ready to go. So. That's really it. I, other than me just wanting to shoot a 1911, that's really the whole reasoning for me going with this. This is a great gun. I've shot this gun. I've reviewed this gun. It's, it's a phenomenal pistol. And uh, I've shot this, and I feel like I did a good job with this, but I'm just mixing it up. That's all. So I've got plenty of months to prepare uh, for a 1911 grip angle and a 1911 trigger pull, and we're going to make this gun my... Uh, CDP sharpshooter uh, gun and we're going to see if we can get bumped to expert with it so you're going to be seeing uh, a lot of this gun and shooting videos if I ever post those if I feel like they're worth posting and uh, I'm going to go into a little bit of the detail about how we're getting this gun ready to shoot uh, CDP um, I've talked about the shortcomings of it and spoiler alert you might already see one of them uh, don't look but that's going to be some videos coming up um, about this uh, Para P1445 Expert and how we're going to make this truly what I want for CDP and not just a pretty good ready to go but it would be nice to have so and so. We're going we're gonna to do those upgrades and we're going to get it ready. So this is what I'm going to be shooting um, and I'll still do some other reviews of other guns. This one's going to take a back burner. Mainly uh, can't, it's hard to find mags, it's tough to work up a load for it, a bunch of other reasons gonna shoot this one because it's the CDP gun and uh, that's pretty much all to it so give me a subscribe we will um, come back to it and talk some more about it uh, and till then um, thanks a lot